do. How come they've got blue bits on? That's what they call patch lock. Which patch is, lock? Yeah, it's like a dry lock type. Oh, right, like the stuff in the red squeezy bottle? Yep. To what I've already done off camera is I have taken a bench. this really tidy bench it's somewhere. Very, very, very messy bench. Anyway, mm -hmm. I've taken a tap and I've tapped these holes out because there would have been bits of this stuck in there with oh, the old okay. box. See the residue on the top? Oh yeah, I can see the blue in there, yeah. Why have we done that? Spraying it with brake cleaner. But why? Um, so that it's got no residue on it, so it's not slip slide. What residue? Right, you don't want it slip slide. Um, I don't know, because is this brand new out of the box? Yeah. Got oil and stuff off your fingers, because you've touched it. There's that. Be a problem with this because it's stainless steel, but stainless steel doesn't mean that things don't rust, it just means they're resistant to rusting. Ah, but from the factory, generally, break this they have like a, a coating or a film on them, either from the manufacturing processes or to protect them from corrosion. So when you take them out of the box, they look nice and shiny and like that. I see. So, 22 newton meters for our brake discs. What I have here is the old one. Can you tell the difference? Well, there's a colour difference. There's a very clear pitting kind of distance. What do you notice there? Oh, it's raised. Why? It's just worn out. Worn out. So it should have one here a minute. So was that once upon a time flat like this one? Yeah. Oh. This is not an accurate way to do this because you should use a micrometer. A micrometer? Yeah, so a micrometer. Do we not have one of them? No. no. Do you want oh. me to open that? We do have one, just not here. Yeah. So a micrometer measures more accurately over a small surface area. There is this, but it will give a good indication. So, what's that say? 4.62? Yeah. And what does this say? Minimum thickness 5. Yeah. I'm okay, I'm with you. That's when it's worn out. It's 5 mil. 5 mil minimum thickness is when it's worn out, and that's less than the minimum thickness because it's 4.62. Yep. Oh. So, what's your next question? I've fixed this one. Uh, what did it start off as? Yep. Five point two zero. Well past its life. To fair. So would you go as far as saying it was unsafe because it was past its life? I break you. To be fair, I was having this conversation with our new friend, the Dwight Foreman of this match cycle, the other day. We were talking about things like this because we were talking about the viewpoint from people of not just is it worth it from the point of view of the bike, but the cost of all this mm -hmm. in terms of parts and things. But he rightfully pointed out actually a lot of the stuff, which is extra cost in this one hit, is deferred maintenance that he would have paid for over time. Okay. It's just that he's paying it in a concentrated point. Yeah. So like all the stuff that you've used to do a basic service and all the stuff that we've replaced that's just wear and tear that would have happened. Yeah. Eventually, anyway, just because we've got it apart at the minute, it makes sense to do it now, yeah. rather than. And it's not just a case of in a bit. doing it now because it's easy to do what's apart. 
ahead of him doing it in the future. It's stuff that he hasn't done mm. or hasn't had done for a significant amount of time. Yeah. Okay. Now, is this the same as the other things that we've done where you do it is it at an even thing as it goes down? Yeah. yeah. What do you think we're going to do with this? <sighs> Write the works on the break disc. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> Sign it before you get too famous. Ah, now, I think you're doing this a bit like, you know, the lorries have them, what looks like pear drops <laughs> on there. So more pear you, drops. More pear drops, but the lorries have them so you can see if the bolt's twisted. Yep. Is this why we're doing this? Yep. So we can see if it starts to undo. Yep. Ah. People don't do it because it looks sightly to some people. And don't get me wrong, it would be better if you had little pear drops. Okay, good morning. I'm just going to let you all know briefly. Joe has gone out and last night we had a conversation around how we are starting to trip over stuff because we've been working and we've not really spent too much time doing too much maintenance. Joe's gone out, he's gone to Stafford Bike Show with his dad and so I have, as you can see, got the hoover out and decided that I'm going to just have a little bit of a shuffle around in the workshop because we are tripping over stuff i've decided like i've kicked some stuff out already like i've got a pile that's got to go to the tip um and i am working my way around and through just to try and make it a little tidier hi so i've done some cleaning hopefully it feels better for him i've created a much bigger tidied all around here created a much bigger floor space got rid of some of the bits that were here Laid out the few bits on the bench now for the projects. This is for putting the front wheel back on in a minute. Um, tidied all around here, a few bits to take in the house. Tidied up the little desk area that we've got where we sit. Um, made sure he's got his trusty book that he keeps looking at in there. Tidied up as well all the shelves where we're keeping all the bits and pieces, just so it's Bit easier for accessing. I know everyone. Oh, hello, Banjo Puss. Here's our neighbour's cat that keeps coming and stealing his hello, of course. Um, yeah, so just tidied everywhere up, really. So I know where everything is. Joe's gonna have to uh, re familiarise himself. <laughs> what have you done? I moved everything round. I tidied. I tidied for you. You went out, so I did a nice thing. I surprised you. Because yesterday, last night, you was a sad face. Because you tripped over a box and then lost your marbles about it. And I've had bangs on the head. You have had bangs on the head. But there was a box you kept tripping over and then there was some expletives. No. <laughs> And a bit of throwing. I mean, it was partially it was passive because I don't like centre stands. <laughs> it was a tantrum. So when you went out today, I spent only two and a half hours, three hours. I didn't spend too too long because I did go out. But uh, yeah, spent some time just tidying up so you're not tripping over things. So what are we doing? <sighs> right, job number one: front tyre fitting. I have one of these. Because you know, this time in two weeks we will be in Anglesey. It will, <laughs> it will have made it. Because you know, this bit goes brum brum, and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely doesn't. I had some fizzy pop. <laughs> Why have we got one of these? I don't know what one of them is. That's the thing that kept falling out last night that caused some of the swearing. <laughs> This isn't the original one off the bike though, is it? Oh, is this the thing that you broke that you had to buy a new one of? <laughs> it is the thing I broke that I had to buy a new one of. Yes, so Joe was fitting something, it. servicing something, messing about. Because I wasn't was here monitoring, observing. Um, was particularly bad. What was going and on? And somebody had already had a go at this, so I'm not taking full responsibility. You're doing a really bad job here, come on. But... I can't see. <laughs> You can see in there, there is, well, on there, there's a bit that sticks up. This little piece? Yep. Yep. And uh, 
he doesn't on that anymore because <laughs> he's not in there. So I had to order one of those, came courtesy of DK Motorcycles, our lovely friends in Stoke, where all the motorcycles with potential are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Joe uh, cut that off and then come in again with some swearing and I a, did. a face that was like, why? Why have I done this and why has this happened? And you've done a lovely job of these wheels, haven't you? I have. Haven't you? Yeah. You've done a lovely job of these wheels, haven't I, you? I did the hard work and then I just delegated the little bit of... Like loosening the lid, the was it? Yeah, that's okay. exactly what it is. Right. So important thing when you put one of these on mm -hmm. this casting piece yeah yeah he's gonna be behind this lug that lug why do you know why well, no I'm, tell you I just what, I'm asking you to guess oh you want me to guess why yeah uh, what's the wheel gonna do the wheel's gonna go that way so i'm thinking if it's behind there it's gonna stop isn't it and then it's not gonna yeah. Move it round. That was my thinking. Yep. Yeah. Please join in. Okay. Ready? Ready if you are. There you go. Yeah? Yeah. I learned from yesterday. How smooth that was. 24 mil and 19. Snug. Could you get me the torque wrench, please? It's already on the bench. It's already on the bench. And set to 60 newton meters. It is set from yesterday. Is this one we made earlier? No, you don't need torque wrenches set. Oh, why? Because it's got school time. <laughs> <laughs> there is a big spring in here, which is what sets the preload for the torque. Oh, okay. If you leave it preloaded, then you strain that spring. Strain, yeah, pressure. And then it won't be as accurate as it ah. perhaps once was. There we are. So now, hang on, we put things away now, don't we? <laughs> Following on from the tidying that happened this morning. Deset the torque. We deset things and we put things away. Then we're not tripping over things. What torque is the clamp bolt? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? We say clamp bolt, this one. Front mm -hmm. axle clamp bolt. 27 newton meters. Yeah? Is it? Bonneville T100, that's what we've got. We've not got an America or a Speedmaster. There you go. Abilities. People will be impressed, you know, with the T100. It's because I've been sent to DK before now asking for parts for a T100. <laughs> there you go. That's an important test. There you go. Go on, goes round. If you have this opportunity where your brakes aren't connected, it's the perfect time to check what are we checking for any free, free play, play in the wheel bearings how would you know if you've got free play would it be a noise like when your bearings in your car go or would it be a if it got that bad yeah okay you'd feel it you'd feel a movement yeah what like left to right kind of yeah. is that what you're doing hang on there's nothing there No, I think. <laughs> Can't tell you where they are. But I think somewhere. I've got some stainless ones of these. Hmm. I have. I've just got to work out where all the parts have come. Everything has moved. Look how easy that was to find. Don't you <laughs> take credit for that. <laughs> I am taking credit today after I spent cleaning time in here. Whilst you were out. Being I was, spotted. I was busy. Caring the community. Taking the dad out. Oh, bless him. 
Yeah, we had a really good day, to be fair. It does sound like you both had a really good day. You always do have a good day at the Stafford Show, though. I don't I think you've ever come back. I think the only time you've ever come back and not particularly enjoyed it is when the weather's bad because there's a large portion outside, isn't there? Yeah, it gets cold there. Though. But I did. Yeah. I bumped into Bandit Man UK and his wife. I believe it's his wife. That was presumptuous of me. They were very friendly mm -hmm. and encouraging. They may make an appearance at the... Did you? Unveiling, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, you had a I, message when we come back, didn't you, from um, the biker formerly known as? I did. He'd seen me. And He'd spotted you. No, I am. This is an omission from me. I am going to have to undo that wheel. And go again. Why? What have we missed? Because although the piece needs to be that side of the thing, it needs to be against it as well. Kind of that gap. Oh. Oh, I see. So when you talk it off, you've, so when you say you've got to go again, have we got to just loosen the torque and yeah. move that and yeah. then talk it again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pound it. You've got to guess where this goes. It's like an oversized thimble with a hole in. Does something poke through the hole? Yep. Something pokes through the hole. So something going in and out the hole. And it's got to be small. Do people are screaming at the screen now. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It goes. It's not the original one. It's much better quality than that. But it's squidgy. It's off a classic triumph, though, this. And it goes somewhere in the middle. Can we at least do hot and cold? Yeah. Like in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. It's cold. got to have something small. Oh, it's a bit well, cold you said you already. Want to do hot or cold? Warm. That's thin enough to go through. It's none of the wires that are on the bike. None of the wi Nothing that's on the bike goes through it. Yet. Yet, but the, but they will. Mhm. Mm but is this then going to go over something? Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm. Nothing circular on here. It doesn't go over a circular thing. <laughs> <laughs> Round peg square hole. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't go over a circular something. No. But it goes over something. And it goes this, this way up. No. Nope. This way up. No. Nope. This way up. Yep. This way up. This way up. So that means whatever the thing is, is over this side. Mm-hmm. You might see it better from above. Ah, this one? Nope. Oh. Closer. You might see it better from above. Hang on. This one? Yep. Let me just put the wire through it first. Oh, yeah, now you're going to get your fingers in there. Oh, with well, great difficulty. Okay. I'm not going to say what my dad would say. Oh, I can see you winding in that little. Yep, okay, I see that. Ah. There he is. Probably put the rear mud guard in. Should we do that? Yeah. And you've got a massive bike clean plan, don't you? Yes, I've scheduled a whole weekend for some. Good cleaning. Oh, we need to spread the word of this. Spread the word of what? Of Loctite? Yeah. Uh, if you, if you lock tight in bolts, so these bolts have had patch lock in the past. Oh, yeah. If Got you need to put lock. fresh Loctite on, that is all you need. You don't need like, a huge blob. And sometimes it comes out in masses. But that is more than enough for two bolts. And then you go You really don't need a lot. People like to just blob loads on and then you end up snapping bolts trying to get them out and duh. then you end up being the person that gets sworn about in the future yeah 
Yeah. Snaz. Looking like a motorbike. I think. You are. Are you not putting that away? Not yet. What are you looking for? I might be able to help you. <laughs> I will find it. <laughs> I might not find it. <sighs> I found them. <laughs> Didn't need you to find them because I found them all on my own. <laughs> Actually, I think. Are you ready? What am I doing? Can Just you put the bolt in? Pushing the bolt through. Sorry, it took all hands on deck for a lot of it. Easy, there we go. It's, go it's poking out a yeah. bit. Yeah. And again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry, we had to use all of our hands because holding this bracket here and the spaces, and the spacer in here, and then pushing this through. And lifting the tyre up was all a lot of arms, wasn't it? Was. it? A lot of arms. I'm tired now. I'm tired now, yes, I'm not surprised. Thank you to everybody that's bought stickers. Yes, everybody that's bought them this week, they were posted at the end of the week, so hopefully they should be with you start of next week. Uh, maybe the people that have got international postage, maybe the end of next week. More coffees. More coffees, Which yeah. Which is probably... Be along the bottom. Doing that. Yeah, thank um, you. We will see everybody at the DGR if they turn up. Yes, we have seen that there have been more people that have signed up. Um, yeah, because we are going from East Birmingham Triumph, Triumph. Uh, in Tamworth. Mm. And we will be riding to Hinkley. the Triumph Factory Visitor Experience Place yep. uh, HQ in Hinkley. Hopefully we get it finished. And then we got that to... Get ready as well. Yes. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere, are we? No. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got to get that done as well. So that'll be in next week's video. Yes, we'll do some of that and put that in next week's video as well. Yeah, that'll be really good. Oh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Indeed. We have enjoyed it. And we mm. will see you next week.